Welcome back to What the Flick. I'm Matt. That's Christy. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Louis C.K. and whether or not we think he's, uh, is it time for a Louis C.K. comeback? Okay, uh, but the reason we are talking about this is there's an article suggesting right. that perhaps it is time. Right. So the Hollywood Reporter recently uh, published a piece about uh, kind of an analysis with some comics and some PR professionals as to what it's going to take for Louis C.K. to come back after he confessed to allegations that he had uh, masturbated in front of some female co uh, comics in his hotel rooms uh, over the years. Uh, he came clean on it and promptly uh, his show on FX uh, stopped. He has been keeping a pretty low profile in light of the Time's Up and Me Too movements. And this article kind of goes as to whether or not is it time for him to come back already? It's, I don't know. It's been what, five months? Uh, five months? <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, so Jezebel has in response to this article, their own article saying, Finally, the sympathetic article no one asked for about how Louis C.K. can make his comeback. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why now, um, why him, why now, of all the people in all the world who have confessed to, you know, misdeeds of some sort. Yeah, the, the article in The Hollywood Reporter points out from other comedians, like Gilbert Gottfried, for example, right. like there are levels of transgression, sure. and he's arguing that Louis C.K. didn't do anything along the lines of what Harvey Weinstein did. Um, and there's the argument here also that perhaps he can use that platform for good, right? That he can use the stage to speak to his audience, which is largely young and male, about what not to do. Don't be like me. It can be like an after-school special. It can be like a, a scared straight kind of thing. Don't be like me is the argument there. I don't know. I mean, I just think he needs to go away. <laughs> well, yeah. I, mean, not, I don't want to see Louis C.K. I would not pay money to go to a comedy club to go see Louis C.K. do stand-up. And I was a fan of his. I really was. I liked his right. show. That I show was his great. Stand-up. And just the idea of seeing his face just completely skeeves me out at this point. I don't want to see it. So I don't know that necessarily it is time. I don't know what the time is, but this is not it. Yeah, I mean, look, like, on the spectrum, sure. Is it? Is he, you know... Is he the alleged rapist that Harvey Weinstein was? No, but that behavior is absolutely a power play, right? Like, whether it's intentional or not, it's- It's totally intentional. It's, it's an abuse right. of power. And it is, it is because it's, I am, you know, it's rather than looking at a female colleague in the comedy space and saying, and discussing their ideas, it's really like, I am reducing you to nothing more mm -hmm. than a sexual object. Mm -hmm. And I don't know- how you write jokes about that that doesn't perpetuate that mindset. Like, mm -hmm. even if you come at it doing, you know, what he's historically done where, look, I'm so sex obsessed, it turns me into an idiot because I see somebody and all I can think of them is mm -hmm. that they are a sex object. Like, it's still kind of perpetuating it, right? Like, if he, Yeah, because he wants what is ostensibly positive feedback for that in the form of laughs. Right. Right, and right. in the form of income. Right, and I don't or know clout based in the celebrity on, world. And I don't know based on his his kind of self deprecation and and kind of look at how dumb I am. Like he historically, at least, like I don't know that he can based on his past work. I don't know that he could radically do mm -hmm. a pivot in his comedy <laughs> styling, so to speak, to really change that narrative. Yeah, right? now all because, of the, yeah. I mean, the only, you'd like have to completely abandon an existing fan base and and say, look, here, because I don't know that you can even write a joke like, here's how stupid I am, this is the way I think, without kind of trying to have your cake and eat it too. Yeah, I mean, what's he going to do now? Do jokes like, what's the deal with airline food? I mean, is he, is he going <laughs> to do right. like that kind of easy observational humor? I mean, the whole point of being a comedian, I think, is that it comes from a personal place, right? And you, you, right. you tell your stories and you unearth your demons in the form of humor, and it has to be personal or else it's not going to connect with people, right? right. And so this is, you know, for better and for worse, who he was, who he is and who he was. Right. And so, yeah, as you say, how is he going to shift to something lighter? How's, you know, how's he going to reinvent himself now I, that, or ever? I don't, I don't see how or, or when. Yeah, I... I don't know. I mean, this all kind of feels like a non-story, by the way. Like it's interesting to talk about in terms of the potential rehabilitation of the like wide variety of people who we have learned about in terms of right. who they truly are in their treatment of women and the way they work this business. Um, I don't know why now we're having to talk about Louis C.K., but 
slow news week. I, maybe. I, I, you I know, don't know. But. Well, that's the other thing, too, is like, you know, I'd rather, you know, with a, I mean, this, this, you and I both know how it works. Like, this reeks of somebody feeding a story, uh -huh. and like, you know, getting so. a friendly publicist to uh -huh. plant a story in the reporter and, uh -huh. hey, let's discuss this and let's lay the groundwork. This. Let's float this yes. idea. And, you know, it, look, like, at some point, like, does he have enough money? Does he really need to come back? Like, maybe. That is an excellent question. Does he need to come back? Is it a financial I don't think thing? so. Like, right. I. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Are we dying for more, like, another 50-something white dude that's, like, <laughs> objectifies women and, like, oh, I mean, I guess, look, like, and I, I'm thinking this out loud, so this may come off really wrong. Please. Like, do we need to then advance a narrative of, hey, this is a guy who's done something wrong, but ultimately, like, it's a blip in his career and he can come back and be okay. And does that, not that people can't earn their right to come back, but does that then downplay the severity and the gender dynamics that he was abusing and then they never really get, or it doesn't help them get substantively addressed, mm. right? Like maybe is it, you know, like God, I mean, the extreme example, God forbid we start hearing about another Weinstein company that like Harvey's found a bunch of money and starts making movies again, right? Like. Well, no, he's, dude should he's, go to jail. Like he's been rehabbing in Scottsdale. I'm sure he's a totally different person uh, now. Has Louis C.K. even been rehabbing anywhere? I just, I just remembered that he won a Peabody Award. I just, I just had to go look this up because I had some weird memory in my head of like, oh, didn't Louis like the show win a Peabody Award? Maybe it I did. Think so. I just looked yeah. it up. I don't know. I think it's, it's you know. Ultimately, I guess the question is, I think it's too early. I think it's too early. But then, when is it time? A couple of years from now. I don't know. Like a couple of years. Yeah. And then if he if he is, is Abby's contrite. holding up a sign. What's that sign? Mm -hmm. Just say it out loud. Kevin, Kevin Spacey. Spacey. Yeah, what Kevin Spacey can can. Yeah, when's Kevin Spacey get to come back? Uh, I, I don't know. Mm, Never. I don't know. Right. I, like, look. Like, I mean, do your time. Right. If you get convicted. But the other thing is is you know, look, Hollywood is such. You know, the show business is a thing where people do bank on their personas and bank mm -hmm. on their reputations. And so when your reputation tilts into being abusive and abusing that power, mm -hmm. like, well, then maybe you lose that power substantively mm -hmm. and you don't get to come back for a long time. I mean, And yet inherently you are still a needy, insecure artist and you need to have that kind of validation and acceptance, right? right? So and at so the end of the movie you talk about how the makeup <laughs> makes you feel better. <laughs> Wait, that's a different... No, that's a whole Hi, different thing. Hi, I'm Louis C.K. Don't do what I did. I mean, maybe that's going to be his his right, road, or, like using his his power, his spotlight for the greater good. Maybe that's what happens then, but it just seems no, look, disingenuous. That's and, the thing. The best know. thing he can do is amplify. The best thing he can do yeah. is probably produce and support and do something where he can make other important voices, mm -hmm. women, people of color, give them platforms. Yeah. Use what, what status he has last that's the thing to do, mm -hmm. right? And stay off camera, stay off everything yeah. else, like behind the scenes, that's like a good point. that's the thing to do. That's, that's a really good point. Right. So if, if we were your manager right. and or publicist, Louis C.K. Right, so stay as managers, off of, we'd get less money for that, but right. that's stay the right thing to do. Stay off television, stay off television.